Father Simon and the Collective, this shameful event requiring your prodigious pardon came about as a result of a special celebration last summer. It all started with an invitation to a big birthday do. It's a celebration, one ending in a zero, shall we say, of a very old, and by that I mean long-standing friend, who shall henceforth be known as Julie. Julie decided that she would like to share the special day with a very select group of her most trusted pals in the luxurious setting of a Somerset Spa Hotel. Janie, a taxi driver, Helen, an admin assistant, Angie, an optician, and me, Carol, a teacher. The plan was to join Julie on the morning of her birthday, have lunch together, and then spend the afternoon relaxing by the pool in preparation for the main event in the evening where we would have a gourmet birthday dinner together in the Smart Hotel restaurant. I was a little apprehensive on arrival as I had only briefly met Janie and Angie once before. Never met Helen, but we were, we were all from different parts of the country, all with different backgrounds, different interests. However, I was sure that as we were all mutual friends of Julie's, we'd hit it off. And we did. We had a thoroughly enjoyable lunch and a relaxing afternoon getting to know each other. Late afternoon, we agreed to retire to our respective rooms to change and freshen up. And uh, we'd meet, we agreed to meet in Julie's room before dinner. I'd packed a bottle of Prosecco and planned to share it as an aperitif. When we all met again, suited and booted in Julie's room, I produced my bottle of Prosecco. It turned out I wasn't the only one who'd thought of this. Everyone had had precisely the same idea. Corks popped and we spent a jolly hour or so toasting the birthday girl and watching her open various gifts and cards. By now... <laughs> I think this is the phrase we were yeah. all getting along famously. Yeah, I think know. this has been uh, um, de-alcoholised. And it didn't feel like we'd only just met. There was great hilarity when birthday girl Julie produced a gift for each of us to mark the occasion matching swimming caps. The heavy rubber old-fashioned kind studded with multicoloured flowers. We were touched by her generosity and tried them on. We would certainly have an opportunity to wear them tomorrow in the fabulous spa pool. When it's time to go down to dinner, I carefully collected the apps and put them in a carrier bag for safekeeping. By the time we arrived in the restaurant for dinner, we were the very, very best of friends. Yes. By now, we were such extraordinary friends. It felt as though we'd known each other forever. We ordered a couple of bottles of wine Why to not? wash the food down, and the conversation was flowing freely. Angie had organised a beautiful birthday cake, and when it arrived, I asked the waiter to take a snap of us all <laughs> with the birthday girl and the cake. In anticipation of a big tip, he obliged, and we posed variously while he took lots of pictures with everyone's phones. When he left to attend to another table, I remembered I had a bag full of swimming caps and it seemed like a hilarious <laughs> idea to have a photograph of us all wearing our swimming caps with the cake. Now, this is where it all started to go downhill. Thanks to all the refreshments that we'd had, it was easy to persuade the others to put on their swimming caps for a photograph, but the waiter seemed to have made himself scarce. Through tears of hilarity, I cast my eyes around the restaurant for someone to take a picture of us all in our fine headgear, and I met the open-mouthed gaze of an elderly lady at the next table to us. In my slightly befuddled state, I felt the need to explain why we were wearing the swimming caps. Now, Simon, in a charming Geordie accent, if you wouldn't mind. Oh, great. Here no. it comes, everyone. No, yeah. I don't... Oh. Really? It would, no, it would be patronising. Oh, right. Really? Yes, I, no, I think it would. <clears throat> so, OK. Um, Somewhat disappointing. OK. Would you mind? Mm. I asked mm. politely, <laughs> offering her my camera. Don't be too disappointed. <laughs> it's only three words. Would you mind? I asked politely, offering her my camera phone. You see... We were a synchronised swimming team back in the day. Winners of many medals at the Olympics. This is our reunion to celebrate Julie's big day. The older lady and her two friends were very impressed and delighted to help out. And they took photos of us as a group and individually. We regaled them with tall tales about our exploits in the synchronised swimming arena. And the spectacular routines and stories of costumes and events became ever more detailed to our own great amusement. The old ladies even began to remember seeing us on television at the height of our fame. So they were confused and so were we. Anyway, we decided to retire to the large hotel lounge bar for coffee and digest it digestives? Is that digest how Digestif. Digestif. <laughs> digestif. Right? It's a biscuit. Well, I don't think it's a chocolate. 
digestive. No. I think it's a small alcoholic beverage. Oh, um, there's a shock. I think, Carol, you'd had enough at yes. this point. Anyway, the old ladies, enthralled to our tales, decided to join us. The tales of our synchronised swimming success overwhelmed me, and I couldn't resist. As we entered the lounge area, all still wearing the flowered swimming caps, I said, We could show you the old routine if you like. Oh, dear. I laid down on the smart parquet floor what? in what I assumed was a suitable in-water pose <laughs> when doing synchronised swimming, and my fellow behatted friends followed suit. In classic formation style, we proceeded to go through a simulated version of our former skills in the pool, but on the carpet, legs, arms, backs, everything in the air. It was coordinated, it was beautiful. The old ladies were enthralled and proceeded to take numerous photographs of us in different poses, with our camera phones and with their own. Finally, tired and emotional, we said goodnight to our admirers amid cries of See you in the pool in the morning from the older ladies. 7 a.m. I call back in my strong Geordie accent. We'll do the winning routine for old time's sake. The next morning, 7 o'clock, came and went. None of us was in any condition to be in the pool, having had a late night and feeling surprisingly unwell. So we all stayed in bed. No forgiveness is required from Julie, who had a lovely birthday, nor from my new mates or even from the waiter. But I do need to ask forgiveness from the ladies at the next table who were undoubtedly sitting by the pool, cameras at the ready at 7am, patiently waiting for the famous synchronised swimming team from an unspecified Olympics back in the day who never, ever arrived. What a spectacle that was on the hotel floor with the uh, this incredible bunch of women with hats on recreating their Olympic glory. Or whatever it was. Sister Bobby. I wonder what their Olympic name or their team name was. You know, Legs Akimbo or something like that. It's, um, it's, it's fantastic. Do they, all have, do they all have names like that? Well, I think the team has a name, doesn't it? It's not just the country. They have, they have an aesthetic name, you know, to describe what they are. You know, like the Bathing Bells or something like that. Oh, okay. I don't know. Matt will know. The it's Tunbridge sport. Wells Tornadoes. Well, Come it's on. in sport. Uh, That's the I question. don't think they do have don't a name. Should no. they have their name, team names? Well, they have their own Great name. Britain. Great, Great Britain. Great Britain. Oh, or okay. Yeah, I know France. that in the Olympics, but before they get to oh, that right. stage. Okay. Yeah, when they're, they're doing a... it in a, not in the Olympics, then yeah. yes, they have a name. Yeah, yes. I love this, Carol. Yeah, there is nothing to be forgiven. I think even the old ladies, it didn't matter if it was true or not. It was fabulously entertaining. And, and, and also, you included them, and it was enjoyable. And everyone had a fantastic night. And I love those swimming hats. I have to say, I spent some time looking for some myself because. After wanting to go to swimming pool to fix my back, I thought it'd be quite funny if I turned up with one of those hats on that people I'd could like laugh at me. I'd like one as well. Me. I'm going to wear one tomorrow. Um, so, Carol, nothing to be forgiven. You are utterly forgiven. And please, can you come to my next birthday? Brother Matthew. So, uh, from what I know of synchronised swimming, by the way, I think it's done in twos. I don't think there's ever groups of them in the Olympics. I no, think there are when teams. No, no, there are teams. Are teams. Really? Yes, come on, get in with the, the Olympics. Group. What's wrong with you? Really? Teams mm. of, of synchronised swimming. I've seen swimmers. them in sort of golden age of Hollywood shows, but not you in... need to get out more. Really? Yes. Anyway, Anyway, um, so, I, I, I mean, I'm going to forgive here. I mean, obviously, the idea that they thought that the old women were enthralled by their moves on the floor, we all think everyone's finding us very entertaining when we've had a little bit to drink. But still, uh, I'm, I'm definitely going to forgive. I mean, obviously, I speak for the nation when I say... Could have done with a Geordie accent, though, really. Would have helped with the story, think? I think so, yes. Oh, uh, there was a slight Geordie, I think. Do dodged a bullet there. Um, so, but I am going to forgive.